Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, the Grande God, to also known as the big cat. My cool cat, put your pause up. If you're rocking with the big cat, today we got a little bit of late breaking news. Blockbuster trade in the National Football League sends Russell Wilson to the Denver Broncos. Mmm. What exactly does this mean for quarterback hungry teams? In particular, Carolina Panthers. How does this affect them? We'll talk about it. Last, get into it. And here we go. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss the video. Be sure to head over to Twitter, follow me so you can get your latest Carolina Panthers news and up to date real time reaction. Be sure to show love in that cash app. As always, anything you donate will be greatly appreciated. Now, that being said, y'all, according to Adam Scheffner, the, uh, the Denver Broncos, I almost said the Carolina Panthers, <laughs> the Denver Broncos decided to trade Drew Locke, tight end Noah Fent, defensive lineman Shelby Harris, two first-round picks, two second-round picks, and a fifth-round pick to the Seattle Seahawks for Russell Wilson and a fourth-round pick. What exactly does this mean for teams that need quarterbacks such as the Carolina Panthers in particular? Well, I'll tell you what it means is, you better go out there and get it. It's time to, to stop dawdling. It's time to stop lollygagging. We're in here afraid to hold the trigger. We got we got our hands. We're afraid to pull the trigger. We got our hands tied because we're worried about cap and all this other stuff. Which, again, I don't want to minimalize the importance of salary cap and stuff. But at the same time, you're watching two back-to-back -back years where teams that needed quarterbacks risk it all. It took a calculated risk, all right? It's, it's okay. Risks are not always bad. You can take a calculated risk as long as it, it, it benefits the odds are in your favor. The kind of risk we don't need to take is, you know, well, I'm not going to go there, but <laughs> you don't want to take a risk on something that's, that's a low chance of you winning. The Detroit Lions end up swapping their picks with the uh, the Rams. They went up there, gave them the world for it, and looked at They ended up with a Super Bowl ring. How did that work out? Now, this year, the Denver Broncos – when all out to get Russell Wilson. One thing I got to appreciate by the Denver Broncos, and I don't appreciate much from a Bronco fan because they screwed us in the Super Bowl, but one thing I will appreciate is John Elway's front office business savvy. I got to appreciate that business savvy that he does have and to recognize that the Denver Broncos last year was a top eight defensive team, all right? Now, with that being said, why is that so important? That lets you know in, in a league where you're going to have Justin, uh, you got uh, Justin Burr, not Justin Burr, you got uh, Justin Herbert, you got my man Derek Carr, and you got Patrick Mahomes, you're going to have to get in the shootout, all right? You're eventually going to have to get in the shootout. And with that defense doing there, they're going to get you a turnover, okay? When you have a top eight defense, top ten defense, they're going to get you a turnover, but you're going to have to have a quarterback that can execute. And now I think they finally do have one. And I have to respect the front office for recognizing that we can sit here and wait for this talent to come up for contract extension and, and have what's about to happen to the Carolina Panthers. Hassan Riddick leaving, Dante Jackson getting the hell on, Gilmore probably getting the hell on. We can sit up here and wait till that happens, or we can go out here and give our, our defense a chance to succeed. All right, not to mention, they actually have some pieces on their offense. Now, they did lose Noah Fant, but they still have Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, and Tim Patrick, who's a who's a nice little uh, third option there. Not to mention the speedster KJ Hamlin and the running back uh, Javante Williams. So there's pieces there, man, and you gotta respect that because time waits for no man. They did it before with Peyton Manning, man. When Peyton Manning was out there in the free agent market, they went ahead and, and busted a move for him. It turned out to be a Super Bowl. Could this be the first back-to-back -back year where you'll see two teams who went all out for a quarterback? Win the Super Bowl. Could it could that happen? We seen that we seen the Rams go out for Stafford. Could it be Denver's turn again? But my point is, as a Panthers fan, we cannot sit here and dawdle. We must fix that offensive line through free agency. But you gotta make some tough decisions. All right. You really do gotta make some tough decisions. It only hurts once, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I <laughs> that's what I'm told when you swipe your credit card. It only hurts once after you after you type it in. Bottom line is you can sit here, you can hold on to your Christian McCaffrey. You can sit here and hold on to your sixth round pick, I mean your sixth pick in the draft. You can sit here and hold on to critical assets that we have just to go 5-11 and 11 or 5-12 and 12, or just to wait seven-year plan. You can do that. You can do that. 
You can do all that shit, but it's not going to get you nowhere. And the window for quarterback opportunity is, is starting to slim out. You know what I mean? You already seen Rodgers resign with the Packers today. You see Denver made the move for Russell Wilson. I mean, all the people left out there, what, Deshaun Watson, Kirk Cousins, and uh, Jimmy Jalopolo, which I'm not a favor of Jimmy Jalopolo. And, and by, the, by the way, I, I want to go ahead and uh, address the report. I, I was going to do a video about it. I still may do a video about it. It said that Panthers front office was in the meeting when they found out that the Panthers allegedly made a phone call that they did not make to Minnesota Vikings for Kirk Cousins. And they laughed about it. What's so funny, huh? What's so goddamn funny? You're laughing about trading for Kirk Cousins who wants the bank. You're laughing about that shit. But you didn't laugh about Sam Darnold. Who's the joke? Who, who's the joke? Who's the joke on? Ha ha! Who's the real joke? You're laughing about a quarterback coming off a back to back 4,000 yards, back to back 20, 20 plus touchdown seasons or better, and you're laughing about that shit? The joke is on you, nigga. The joke is on y'all for thinking that the front office has a very, <laughs> has enough comp compatibility. Uh, 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 Enough common sense to believe that Sam Darnold would be a viable option. Matter of fact, let's take a laugh at that. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker! <laughs> this nigga, this nigga traded a second round pick for Sam Darnold. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Kirk Cousins, four thousand back to back yards, twenty six plus touchdowns. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna make that move. Oh, but, but, but. Let's, 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 let's make Sam Darnold. Yeah, let's trade him for a second round pick. Let's, let's get Sam Darnold out there. See how stupid that sounds? See how fucking stupid that sounds? We're not in a position to laugh at anybody or anything. Like I said, the market is closing. I'm expecting for us to find the next domino that's going to be falling, man. You know what I mean? The Washington Commodores, they made a, a, a move for Russell Wilson, but they didn't want him in the NFC. So apparently Washington... If I had to take a guess, the next big the next big quarterback is going to Washington, all right? Washington is desperate. I thought we were desperate, but Washington is extremely desperate. I mean, they'll do something strange for $2 kind of desperate. That's how bad they are. The only reason why the Russell Wilson didn't go to uh, the, the Commodores was because they did not want him in the NFC. With that being said, the next big domino is going to Washington, whether it be Watson, whether it be Kirk Cousins, whether it be Jim Lopolo, whoever it may be. And that puts the Panthers in a tight window here because you're competing with the Washington Commodores, you're competing with the New Orleans Saints, you're competing with the Pittsburgh Steelers, who still need quarterback, and the dark horse, the dark horse is really the Philadelphia Eagles, who could trade Jalen Hurts. And by the way, all these teams have more assets than the Panthers really do, by the way. So you guys can sit here and you can laugh and say, we're not trying to get a Cousins or trying to get a Jimmy Lopolo, but what do we have there now? What do we have there now? We need to stop planning on the future is going to always work out. The future is always going to work out. Just because you plan for the future to work out doesn't mean it's going to always work out. Sometimes you got to strike while the iron is hot. Now, the only downside I would say about this trade, Russell Wilson going to Denver is, Russell Wilson's 33 years old, but he has taken care of his body. You know what I mean? Other than that finger getting uh, messed up this past season, he's a, he's a he's pretty sh in shape guy. Doesn't really get hurt that much. Nothing severe, all right? So at 33 years old, you probably get what, another four or five years out of him. Hey, not bad. You know what I mean? That's the only downside. I would say you're not getting a young guy who you can get 10, 10 plus season, 8 plus season, 9 plus season. You get another four or five out of Russell Wilson. But if that four or five seasons net you, what, one, maybe two rings, even one, even if you get one ring out of it, it's a win. You got to stop being scared, Carolina. You got to stop being scared, man. It's time to trade these niggas. Get these niggas the fuck out of here. Trade these picks. Fuck that six pick. You know what I mean? Get these assets the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Get Christian up out of here. Get the rest of these motherfuckers up to out of here. And we need to... Listen, there's two positions you cannot play with in the NFL. Two positions you can't play with football, period. Even if you're playing Madden, you cannot play around with these two positions. That's offensive line and quarterback. You can fix everything in our damn football team, but if you don't address the, the the main goddamn two pieces, which is off of the line and quarterback, it's not gonna work out for you. You're gonna continue to be five and twelve with a six pick. 
You're going to continue to be 5-12 and 12 with your superstar running back. You're going to continue to be 5-12 and 12 with your number two defense because you're afraid to pull the fucking trigger. You know what I mean? Salute to the real ones. Shout out to the real ones who recognize that, hey, I got a top 10 defense in the Denver Broncos. I got pieces on my offense, and I don't want to end up like the Carolina Panthers. I don't want to sit here and wait until all our motherfucking contracts come up and everybody decides to leave town, and now we're sitting here trying to rebuild through free agency while other teams washed up pieces. I'm your host, El Grande Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool guy, put the paws up. If you're rocking with the Big Cat, get in the comment section, y'all. How you feel about this? Man, when is it going to be our turn? When is it going to be our turn? Shit, I want to come on this mic and say, God damn, that was a good move. I want to come on the mic and say, Super Bowl, here we go. Super Bowl, here we go again with this bullshit. Make sure you like the stream, share it, follow me on Instagram at Twilla. Excuse me, follow me on Instagram and Twilla at Keep Pounding TV. Subscribe, show me some love in that cash app. Let the church say, let the church say, pause up. Keep pounding. Carolina on top forever. Thank you guys for watching Keep Pounding TV. I got one quick question. Do. Scream, scream, scream. You. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Fumble. Love the Carolina Panthers. We did it. We did it. We did it. Like I love the Carolina Panthers.